welcome here to Air Crash Investigator again and today I'm going to have a look at a Puma helicopter that crashed on the front deck of the ship Jolly Rubino. Right, so here we have the Jolly Rubino. It's stranded on the South African coast near the town of St. Lucia. It was actually near the, the light tower there. And before I speak about St. Lucia, just a little bit about the ship. Here's a sister ship of the Jolly Rubino, the exact same replica of the ship. The bottom here, the ship has been stranded, and just to see, well, it is definitely the Jolly Rubino. Just a little short history about the ship. Well, it was fully laden with cargo. Inside, it had vehicles and what no else. And the cargo, or, well, I never laid an eye on the cargo manifest, but obviously everybody was a bit worried that there were chemical kind of stuff on board, which would then contaminate the St. Lucia estuary. Now for a short look just at the safety uh, control measures during the day of the operations, during the salvage operation. First of all, in order to clean everything up, there is about 12 people that had to be on the ship at any uh, moment of time. I'm talking about daylight hours now. So early morning first, 12 people down, winched, and their food and water, small parts, and maybe tools were taken in sugarcane bags. And those sugarcane bags would then have to come back with them. But in the meantime, while it was on the ship, and the bag was empty, then it had to be tied to a railing. And, you know, obviously very tight because the helicopter exerts quite a, a lot of force down to the bottom. Well, so the environmental awareness was very high. And if we take the sugarcane bag, we look at the front of the ship here, and we've got the helicopter doing some winching operation at the top there, two people going down, and then Let's just have a look here, that white object there. In the video, you will see that it's flapping in the downwash of the helicopter. It actually came loose there and went into the tail rotor. So there was definitely an accident in the making. Well, here you can see the Puma helicopter winching two people down onto the front deck of the Jolly Rubino with the sugarcane bag in the back, flapping in the wind as it's steered to the rail. Just about the side of the ship, you can actually see the sugarcane bag very close to the tow rotor. Well, there you can see inside the circle, there is the bag. It's flipping up right into the tow rotor. Tow rotor damage, helicopter goes down, in flames, and completely destroyed. It's a cock fucking scut man, you fool. Is everybody safe out? Yeah, everybody goes outside. Right, now that you've seen the accident, you can see how quickly and without any, let's say, extra warning, the accident happened. And that accident took three months in the making. Just a little bit more on what happened on the ship. Obviously, the ship had to be cleared out completely and everything had to be removed before the final destruction. So the ship was destroyed um, by explosives and then the period of rusting started. And the last time I flew past the area there, this is all that remained of the Jolly Rubino. Now, as with everything else, there must be something that we can take home. And um, let me read this and just hear this. I say stick to a safety procedure, even when they do not seem to matter anymore or when dangers become acceptable. That's the normal nature of man. We get used to the danger environment. It didn't happen today, it's not going to happen tomorrow, and then eventually we're in the false sense of belief, probably, that we are okay. Well, 
safety and the application of safety procedures uh, leaves no guarantee that you're okay if you don't follow them. So, safety each time, every time, until next time.